Yo, what's up everyone? We are back playing more Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. And uh, last time on, we had just uh, got the full investigation for the, the Weeping Shadow, um, which is really cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dive right back in where we left off. And uh, we're going to try to investigate some of the other ghosts at Polk Street. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, here we are back in the office. So I think that in the last episode, I was actually a little confused about which evidence belonged to which ghost. So I think that the the, the woman who uh, wound up taking her own life and had depression was actually the, the grieving shadow or the, the weeping shadow, whichever one it is. Um, so uh, the other one, I believe, is actually probably the entity that's inside the kitchen and the one that walks through the washroom. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to to use those uh, to to investigate the next ghost. So let's go ahead and just take a look here. Uh, I'm actually not sure whether or not that's the right one. I believe that this is one of them. And I'm going to go ahead and close the folder real quick because I want to go ahead and get the evidence from the email as well. So I believe uh, not crying in the living room. Someone talking to themselves in the laundry area sounds right. Footsteps throughout the house. Uh, that one's going to be the poltergeist, I believe, in the garage. Boy in the room. Elderly man lingering in the kitchen. Okay, so let's go back to archives here for Polk Street. Changes create gateways, maybe? Maybe that's the right one. But I'm not really too sure on that one. That one might actually be uh, part of the, uh, the ghost in the garage. So. Yeah, I'm not positive on that one here what else do we have no I'm gonna leave the changes create gateways Maybe it's not the talking in the laundry room. That one might actually be a different entity. So let's go back to the email. Um, I'm going to remove talking in the laundry area. And maybe there's another archive Maybe this one, because it's about the guy's love for her. Yeah, I think that's about it. So maybe we'll go with that and see if we can't uh, fixate or focus in on uh, the one spirit. And I actually kind of noticed that uh, the photos that we've been taking, I, I was... I was kind of wondering what it was because initially I'd only seen this one here um, previously, but it just seems like all the photos are showing up here, which is actually pretty cool. So we're getting some of our photos put up on the wall for the uh, for the different photos that we've taken, which is pretty awesome, I think. 
So anyway, we'll go ahead and go back to the Polk Street I would uh, location. Prepared with a few more notes. And uh, see if we can't get uh, this ghost here. We do have, uh, I think this is the child ghost. So let's go ahead and do that. The Lorentz have a bit of con. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some of our gear here. I want to go ahead and get the pen first. All right. So it seems like maybe the kitchen is the the one. We'll go ahead and set up the pen in here, maybe. I'm not really too sure the best angle for it, but let's uh let's give it a shot. Uh, let's pick that back up. I forgot to turn it on. Uh five. There we are. Uh and then we'll place it here. Perfect. I think that gives it a good spread. Let's take a look. Uh, I don't know. Kind of get in the kitchen a bit, which is good. Maybe that'll be good. Because he hears it, it. They say they hear these footsteps walking over there. I kind of want to rotate it a little bit. Um, so let's just try that again. Five. All right. I think that's. That's good. Right there. And I can rotate it with C. It's going all the way behind me right now. There we are. I think that's good. Awesome. All right, let's go get our, our uh, voice recorder. EVP recorder, I suppose. This is going to be a regular cold spot here. We'll just get it out of the way. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. so far well, that's kind of a weird spot to build a air vent maybe EVP or uh, EMF I mean oh, that's gonna be the fridge oh, here we go Did it go downstairs? Ah, oh, it disappeared. Okay, we'll go back upstairs. Lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. She kind of surprised I don't hear. Oh, 
Oh no, wrong, wrong one. Missed it. Dang it. It's really sad. He wishes she was there. Oh. But anyway, like I was saying, um, kind of surprised I don't hear any evidence for the next uh, archive item. out here I don't think the poltergeists have like lore items behind them it seems like Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? So no no EVPs. Still no temperature readings, which is kind of surprising. This is definitely uh, keeping to himself. This is okay. This is definitely not normal. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. I stand corrected. Thanks, Conrad. <laughs> like immediate, like, no, you're wrong. I 
thought it was just way too low. Like usually the amp readings for these things are not like that low. Must be some strong AC. Maybe we'll just kind of sit here for a little bit. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me. Oh, there must be a light switch here, yeah. There we go. Where are you going? Are you still here? There you are. Oh. Does that count as a photo? How rare to take a photo of a ghost. I'd gotten that audio, but anyway, at least we got the photo. It's definitely trying to close me in the basement. So is this guy the one that's actually in the laundry room too? Did I just not put that piece of evidence there? BMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Kind of just hanging out here. Maybe he's gone now. See, these are the temp readings that I would expect for when the AC was on. Not like six degrees Celsius. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. Yeah. There we go. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me?
Is this your home? Is this your home? Why are you here? Why are you here? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. She's mean. That was definitely not the, the ghost that we've been focusing on, but uh, it's good that we got that. I think that's the child ghost. So, Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I'll keep that as audio evidence. Didn't count specifically towards the entity that we've been investigating. Such creepy ambient noises. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. You can just see, vaguely see the outline of them. This is so cool. He's got like suspenders on. I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. I have a lot. But we don't have, I mean, there's a lot of audio evidence for this uh, particular entity. I would assume that it's mostly EVP, but... Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I haven't had a lot of luck with that. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? This doesn't seem to be responding with EVP. Maybe it's not a ghost that can, maybe it's not intelligent. Maybe it's like a residual haunting where it's just replaying events, in which case I should only be able to get like ambient audio.
Just shut this door. AC says, I wish you could shut this thing off. An option to turn it off. Maybe we're just quiet for a bit. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Wow, that's great audio evidence. I don't know exactly what it said. We'll have to listen to that later. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. I keep getting the child ghost speaking. Oh, jeez. Scared me. I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. <sighs> this thing just sneaks up on you. There's also a light here, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Why is the child ghost so active? I didn't like really even pick up any of the evidence items that I don't think belong to it. So crazy. No, don't turn the AC back on. Makes it really hard to hear.
Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I mean, honestly, I can't really understand what it says. It's like, I think it's too far away because we're not really trying to focus in on that ghost. That is eerie audio evidence. Yeah, that's really cre creepy. I feel really bad for this ghost, though. Like, just misses his wife. Or at least the residual memory of him misses her. Where was he walking? I'll keep that as audio evidence. What was that? It was like four different pieces of like audio evidence at once. This light came on. Just shut it off. Things are starting to pop off. creepy looking I don't know that this dots Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence I'll keep that as audio evidence getting multiple audio cues all at once that wow that's great audio evidence it's like a pill pill bottle why are there so many ghosts in this house
one more. Really sad. Oh, it's like it's like heartbreaking. <laughs> so sad. Okay, so we we've re we received all the audio evidence for the ghost that we were looking to investigate, and lots of other audio evidence from ones that we were not. Um, so uh, I want to go back to the office and uh, take a look at you know what the audio actually sounds like because it was kind of hard to hear so let's go ahead and do that since we've have fully investigated this ghost back here let's go ahead and take a look at the uh the audio evidence that we actually got from Oak street perpetual presence grieving shadow so it's called the grieving shadow this one's called uh this one's called little boy blue and that's it so far so we know that the grieving shadow was the one that we kind of investigated last time this time, I think it's the perpetual presence that we're really looking into. What? I had to turn up the audio or the volume. Go back to track one. You know, one of the the commenters on the, one of my videos for this said that where's it? There's it's saying where's my watch, which I mean I completely agree with. It totally sounds like that. So that could definitely be it. Uh, it's, I don't know what else it could be. Maybe the where's my wife, but like it doesn't sound like that. Yeah, where's my watch sounds pretty accurate. What? Is there a way to like reverse the audio? Is there? Is that a thing? I can slow it down. If you could have seen him. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. What's coming? I just won't die. I just won't die. Oh, that's, I mean, not true, obviously. Why Memorial? Why Memorial? Yeah, that one's pretty clear. 
That one's pretty sad. All right, we, we heard all the grieving shadow, I believe. I mean, we can listen to him just to my pills. Get out. Leave. I hate you. Don't stay mad. Don't stay mad. Love you. Oh. <laughs> that one's really creepy. All right, so this is the child ghost that's in the house that we hadn't really focused on yet. We don't really have the archive item evidence to, to really do that. So we're probably going to go back and try to get that to show up. What's that? What are you doing? Oh, it's so creepy. Wish she'd leave. Wish she'd leave? She's so mean. Never had me before. She's mean. Okay, so the response to is there anything you would like to tell me is she's mean. Okay. Well, it seems like that's all we have in terms of that. Um Yeah, I mean Let's uh let's go back. I'm gonna I mean off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and uh keep re-rolling the uh the chance to find new evidence in the house until i get it hopefully it'll be on the first try if not then it, it is what it is but uh yeah let's go ahead and do that all right so let's go ahead and check out uh exactly what the archive looks like that we picked up here so we have a report card which looks like uh, it was for uh, D. Allen. Looks like probably David Allen. He was not a very uh, well-behaved kid, I guess. <laughs> His grades weren't too bad, right? I mean, they're okay. I mean, music kind of didn't go so well. Uh, neither did math at the end there, but I mean, you know... Anyway, um, all right, so it looks like David actually died in 2015, so he was 31 years old. So um, David Allen, age 31, of Washington Street, died Tuesday, August 11th, 2015, unexpectedly while spending time with friends. He was born in New Eidolon in January of 1984, the son of Charles Allen, a true artist since early childhood. David enjoyed sculpting and painting in his free time. He was also an avid reader and worked as a clerk at Nobel Books, a local shop that he frequented as a young boy. Surviving David is his father, Charles Allen. Funeral services will be held at 10 a.m. on August 15th, 2015 at the Fellowship of the Congregational Church. Burial will be at Spruce Street Cemetery. Flowers and condolences can be sent to Charles Allen at his home on Monroe Street. Okay, so it looks like David did not die when he was a child. Although the ghost seems to be a child, which is interesting. So uh, it's like the ghost version of himself was stuck as a child, which is weird. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and add these to the notes later. I think that, you know, we're kind of getting close to the uh, the time limit here for, for a video. So I want to go ahead and, and uh, leave off probably pretty soon. Um, let me just go ahead and check real quick whether or not I can actually purchase. No. I'm really close to being able to purchase the, uh, the parabolic mic uh, for 250. I am five off. So... Uh, hopefully, we will be able to get that, uh, you know, within the next investigation and be able to, you know, start being able to use it, which would be pretty cool. It's nice to get a, a different piece of evidence. Although I, I do say that, you know, I don't feel like the pen light is very useful. So I'm hoping that the parabolic mic is going to be a little bit better 
in terms of that. But uh, I guess we'll go ahead and see. So, that all said, uh, we will go ahead and leave off here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you for, for you know staying tuned. In the next video, we'll probably go ahead and pick up where we left off and try to investigate the, the child ghost, um, the presence that seems to be in the house at Polk Street, and uh, hopefully be able to get all the evidence items that we need to to fully investigate that. But uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later.